Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a six-pointed star. So in the previous part of this video, we covered how to draw a five-pointed star. And now in this part, you are going to be looking at a six-pointed star. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, PA Academy, uh, please take out time to click on the subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. It won't cost you anything. So kindly go ahead now and click on the subscribe button. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just subscribed. And if you missed the uh, previous part of this video that talks about how to draw a six-pointed star, I will leave a link to that video in the description of this particular video. Alright, so to start with, uh, what we are going to do now is to, first of all, get the point that's the vertex uh, for the star. And in doing that, you are going to be drawing a hexagon, a regular hexagon. So in doing drawing a regular hexagon, there are different methods of drawing hexagon, but I'm going to be using the one with a circle. So I'm going to be working with a circle of uh, 5 cm, I mean with a radius of 6 cm, let me use 6 cm. So irrespective of the circle that you are working with, it's still the same step. So now I'm going to draw a circle, and the circle I'm going to be drawing, I'm going to draw it with a faint line, that's a, a thin line. I hope you can see this. So let me just make it uh, a little bold, but it should be very faint, very faint. So I hope you can still see this. So now I already have my circle. The next thing I want to do is to draw a diameter. So a line that will pass through the center of the circle and touch uh, the circumference. So all these are going to be with a faint line. So here is point A. And this is point, point B. So just note where this line AB is touching, that the diameter is touching the circumference of the circle. It's touching the point B here. And this is that, that of point A. Now with the same uh, length of the radius of the circle, which you can see here. So you place your compass on point B, and then you draw an arc on the circumference of the circle. You do it on other on opposite on the other side. So you come to point B. I mean point A now. You draw an arc. So all these are going to be with faint line. So, so I haven't done that, so let's note those points. So this is where the arc is touching the circle. This is it, another point here. This is another point here. And this is another point here. So let's name those points. So let's call this point, um, this is it. Let's call this point C. Let's call this point D. And then let me call this point E. And let me call this point, point F. So all these points are going to be the vertices for the six-pointed star we are going to be drawing. So now let's go ahead and start drawing the star. So let's start from point A. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw a line from point A to point F, skipping point E. So it's going to look like this. So this time around we are going to be using a uh, outline. That's a bold line, a thick line. So from point A to point F. So you are going to be having something like this. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to draw a line from point F to point C, skipping point uh, B, which is vertex. And then finally we are going to join point C to point A, skipping point D. So those points are called vertex, so in case I'm just calling point or vertex, I'm still saying the same thing. So this is what we are having. Now we can now start from another point. So now let's start from point D again. So we are going to join point D to point E, skipping point A. Now from point E, to point B, skipping point F. And then the last, for the last one, point B to point D. So if you are finding value in this video, kindly click on that thumbs up button, give this video a thumbs up. So with this now, you can see we already have our six pointed star. And you can see this is just the six-pointed star that we, would, that we need. That's why I made it bold. And every other thing, I use a construction line, like the circle, the diameter. I just use a very thin line. 
so that is it for this video um then the next part of this video i'm going to be showing you how to draw a seven pointed star a seven pointed star i'll leave a link to all those videos in the description of this video but that seven pointed star will be coming up immediately after this video so thank you for watching if you are yet to subscribe please click on subscribe button also endeavor to share this video with your colleagues with your uh, with your friends and i'll see you all in the next uh video thank you